All right, let's check in with Matt Wentz, who we're keeping our social distancing. <laughs> Like for real. I get it. I get it. I know. I mean, we have to practice what we preach, right? I know. I miss so you, Lena. Right. I miss your musk. Uh, what? I don't know. Okay, the, that doesn't sound good. They say that in Anchorman. Isn't that an yeah, Anchorman uh, okay. line? Okay. Maybe it's Nick's. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, all right. <laughs> Just They're don't drink scotch. Over the, uh, yeah, we don't do that around here. All right. Akron can today, 50 degrees. Tis the season, right, where it's cooler by the lake. Look at Cleveland today, only 42, 45 Mansfield. Much warmer as you get down towards the south. But it was pretty chilly, all things considered. But the chilly this time of year, not anything compared to what we had uh, back in December and January. Those are some of the coldest days. You can see the wind off the lake. Lake water sitting at 36 degrees. So there's our lake breeze that we've got off to the north. Temperatures near 50 as you get down towards Canton. And that that battle line that we deal with this time here between the warm and the cold is all the way down to the Gulf Coast. 81 Montgomery compare that to 45 in Nashville. So we're stuck in the cool air for a couple days here, but we will see that warmth rebound and that high pressure bringing in clearing skies from the north. We've got a clear night tonight. Pretty active pattern off to the west, though. You notice uh, lots of areas of moisture. We've got a Pacific plume of moisture that is ready to go. Areas of Texas and then this system out in California, four to five feet of snow for the Sierra Nevada. This thing's going to sit and spin and just drop heavy rain rain and snow across California. Eventually that will pinwheel east and that will give us our weather patterns as we go throughout the week. But we're quiet to start the week. You can see we've got the clearing skies. It will be cold tonight. We're back into the upper 20s, lower 30s, and you can see the clear skies as we're out the door tomorrow morning with a comfortably cool start. We will warm up nicely tomorrow, though. As we go through the day, we should have a nice southerly breeze bringing warming temperatures in here. It's also going to bring clouds in, so we're going to go with increasing clouds throughout your Monday. High temperatures ought to reach near 50 degrees in the afternoon. Then we talk just a brief period of perhaps some rain as we go into Tuesday. Doesn't look like a very well organized system. Most of it passing off to the north. You can see Tuesday's wake up temps in the 40s. So a mild start. Here comes your shower chances. We go through mainly early half of the day and then we start to clear things out, but we also switch that wind around again and that will cool us down on in a Tuesday afternoon and evening. So pretty quiet day Tuesday, maybe some showers early, but some active weather later on this week. Here's that pinwheeling system out west. Plume of moisture coming out of the south. Eventually these two will marry up. Up, and if we're going to get several waves of rainfall across the Tennessee Valley and the Ohio Valley as we go throughout the week. For us, that means our first real decent shot of rain arrives on Wednesday. Pretty decent plume of moisture ought to bring some decent downpours in here. We'll dry out briefly on Thursday morning, and then we're back to more rain as we go into Thursday afternoon. This will also bring some warmth with it, expecting some spring like temps to return as we go into your Thursday and early Friday before you guessed it. Much like we did yesterday, we're back to the cold after a brief uh, spell with some warmer air. So the jet stream kind of drives everything. You can see that big trough we have out west. Here comes the warmth this week as this trough kind of ejects itself into uh, areas of the southern plain states. It ought to bring some warm temperatures up here as we go into Thursday and then early Friday. But then just as quickly, we're back to a brief period of cold on Saturday. So here's what it looks like temperature wise as we go through our Universal Windows Direct 7 day forecast. 50 tomorrow with increasing clouds. We will have some showers around mainly early on Tuesday with a cooler day expected. Wednesday, we start the warm up again. It will be cooler near the lake on Wednesday, but then Thursday, Friday, that's when we have the big warm up with some periodic showers. I think 65 ought to do it on Thursday. We'll start in the 60s on Friday with perhaps some thunderstorms roaming through the area and then temps will crash and we're back down into wow. the 30s on Saturday, 40s on Sunday, a weekend very similar to what we're dealing with right now. Lena, we'll wow. send it back to you. That's a big draw. Thanks, Matt.